beginning of the end. Rise of the Beast Spots is a direct sequel to 2018's Bumblebee. In the center of the story will be two human heroes living in Brooklyn, but by the will of fate, they find themselves embroiled in a conflict between several Transformers factions. The alien guns kick ass! Apparently, the fate of the planet will again be in jeopardy due to the intergalactic confrontation unfolding on Earth, set seven years after the events of Bumblebee. Crime. We survived the fall of Cybertron. And no rebellion is truly dead until the leader is vanquished. So where is he? Paramount Pictures' blockbuster action adventure centers on the fearless leader of the Autobots, who, along with the militant Optimus Primal and the Maximal Faction, will have to defend the Earth from the attacks of new villains, the Terrakins, and Predakins. From the side of people, alien robots will be helped by a young man Noah and a girl Alina. Defend my family. Or die. Even though the Transformers prequel, Travis Knight's Bumblebee, was set in the 1980s, it's unlikely the movie drew inspiration from that decade's catalog of classic action movies. Granted, not many of these featured the coming-of-age story of a teenage girl and a giant alien robot. Are you... Do you speak? but the historical trappings allowed the project to bask in a warm glow of nostalgia while staying away from the modern setting. The movie will take place in 1994 and will tell the story of a pair of archaeologists from Brooklyn who find themselves embroiled in a conflict between three different factions of Transformers, Maximals, Predakins, and Terrakins. However, Transformers, Rise of the Beast Bots should be the epitome of a cold-blooded classic. The events of the seventh part of the main franchise will show why Optimus Prime decided to stay on Earth. Dangerous secret is buried deep inside the Earth. There is more to this planet than meets the eye. I am Optimus Prime, calling all Autobots. It is time to come home. If we talk about a movie from the 90 seconds, in which one way or another there is a war and robots are involved, most likely, first of all, you will think about the second part of The Terminator, subtitled Judgment Day. In a new interview, director Stephen Kappel Jr. admitted that he has a similar temper when making the new Transformers. I think in this film you will feel a sense of travel and expedition. This bias that connects all these people to what you are saying. Terminator 2, Judgment Day is a real classic. If you will, it has all the heaviness of the metal. So I think that when you watch our film and look at how we're running it, we want to represent that classic expedition, that classic New York trip and what follows, said Stephen Kappel Jr. You have no soul! That is why I have no faith. You die. Faster. Go. I'll kill you. With a high degree of probability, Transformers: Rise of the Beast Bots will not be as successful and of high quality as Terminator 2, Judgment Day, but director Stephen Kappel Jr. is clearly inspired by the right pictures, and with great desire and competent ideas, he can good tape. Transformers, Rise of the Beast Bots will be the start of a new Transformers trilogy. The film will hit theaters on June 9, 2023.
The central roles went to Dominic Fishback and Anthony Ramos. The production is directed by Stephen Kappel Jr. and produced by Michael Bay, director of previous films about gigantic robots. The script was developed by Joby Harold, James Vanderbilt, and Black Mob family writers Darnell Menire and Josh Peters. The production team, as before, is led by Lorenzo Di Bonaventura, Steven Spielberg, and Michael Bay.